Hi, welcome to this training session. This session is aimed to getting you started with Salesforce.com. Salesforce.com is what we call cloud computing. That means anytime you have internet access, you'll be able to access the application. All you need to do is open up your browser and go to the address login.salesforce.com. Once the page opens, you'll just need to enter your username and also your password. If you forget your username, you can contact your system administrator. And if you forget your password, there's a link here that allows you to reset your own password. I'm going to go ahead and log into Salesforce. Now once you log into Salesforce, you'll notice that you'll log in to the Home tab. You'll notice that in the top left-hand corner. Also across the top are additional tabs. This helps us organize data within the application. We have a tab here that represents leads. Leads are prospects or people that we hope to do business with. We also have a tab here called organizations. Organizations are accounts or companies that we want to track in Salesforce. We also have a tab for contacts and we also have a tab for opportunities. Opportunities are what we use to manage our sales deals or any re revenue generating opportunity. Now all the data that's within Salesforce, we can run detailed reports. We can also create dashboards which are graphical representation of data in Salesforce. We have a tab that allows us to store documents and we also have a tab for pros products and forecasts. In the top left hand corner there's an area where we can run an advanced search. This allows us to search across the data in Salesforce. Within your search area you can put in at least two characters and when we search for information we'll be searching on organization names, contact names, we can even search on things like phone number, fax number and email address. We'll also search on opportunity names as well. In the left-hand area underneath Advanced Search, we also have a bar that allows us to quickly create a new record. So if we want to go in and create a new organization or a new contact, for example, we can use this bar here. We have a shortcut that goes directly to your calendar. And also in the left-hand bar area, we have something called Recent Items. As you click on to records in Salesforce, recent items will show you the last 10 things that you viewed. We find that users tend to look at the same records over and over again. So instead of doing a search, you can use your recent items and track the last 10 things you looked at. You'll also notice under recent items, if you hover over any of these links, it brings up what we call a mini page. This will allow you to see a mini page of information. So for example here, I can see a mini page of my contact John with basic information about that contact. With recent items mini page, it allows us to quickly view information without having to open up the entire record. Also in the left hand area we have custom links. This allows us to quickly go to common areas that we like to visit such as dashboards such as premier training and data entry rules. Now looking in the right hand area or my wide area I'll notice at the very top we have things called my tasks. I like to think of tasks as your to-do list. This here will list all your of your tasks and it'll give you an option to view them as well as to mark them as complete or open them as you click onto the link. Underneath my tasks we have a calendar area. We recommend that any business relating meetings you log in Salesforce. That way it's tracked within the customer relationship management tool. Scrolling down further, we have something called dashboards. This gives us graphical representation of data. It gives us a nice high-level overview of what's happening in our business. Now scrolling at the top, we're able to click onto any of these tabs here. I've gone ahead and clicked onto the organization tab. Every tab is represented by a different color as well as a different icon. As you get used to Salesforce, you'll get used to the icons that represent each tab. For organizations, I have this orange folder that represents organizations. 
At the very top, we have something called views. Views are a way that you can filter information. So rather than seeing all organizations within Salesforce, I'm able to view just my organizations. Underneath the views, you also have an area where you can view recent organizations. These are the last organizations you looked at. Now what I can do is click on to any of these organizations' names. Once I click on to a link, this is what we call the organization record. So what I'm looking at are details of this particular company. So at the very top, I see basic information such as the organization name, things like the maximize account number, things like the phone number, the fax number, and also who owns this organization record. Any of the fields that we're able to view and see that the pencil comes up, it means that I can double click onto the field and allows me to edit the information. So by entering the details here, I'm able to edit field by field and even undo my results. Now, whenever you're using what we call inline edi editing, don't forget to hit the save button to make sure you save all those changes. Otherwise, they won't be saved. As I scroll down, I can see more sections of information about this organization. I can see details of their address, additional information, sales platform information, description information, and legal information. Each of these sections, we can collapse them if we feel that we don't need to see them all the time. This allows us to free up a little bit of space on our browser. Every time I look at an organization, these areas will remain collapsed, and if I choose to view them again, I can leave them open. Scrolling down a little bit further, we can see that some fields don't allow us to use inline editing, meaning I can't double click and edit the field details. You'll notice that lock symbol and that will show you that you can't double click to edit this field. Scrolling down a little bit further, I have some quick links that allows me to use some tools. So if I were looking at this account here, this organization, and I see the address, if I wanted to see what that address looks like in Google Maps. I can click onto Google Maps and it'll directly, it'll open up another tab and it'll feed the information, the organization address, directly into Google Maps. This saves me some time rather than opening up Google Maps and manually typing in the address. Scrolling down a little bit further, this is what we call related lists. This is related information about the organization above. So for example, I'm able to see all the activities related to this organization, all the contacts that work for this organization, projects, opportunities, maximize account information, and even fellow organization team members. By adding additional information or viewing your related list, you get a 360 degree view of everything that's happening with this company. I'm going to click back into the Home tab. In the top right hand corner, this also gives us access to edit our own personal information and also gives us access to help and training. Help and training is available 24 by 7 and allows us to search on any information in Salesforce and get some help on, on those areas. That completes this training session. Please continue to use the other training sessions to learn more about Salesforce.